What up, y'all? It's T Biz and. Chaz Overlord here, Bratman. <laughs> yes, it's T Biz and Overlord Productions. And uh, once again, this is uh, story time. It's that time of the night where uh, we go through one of my old Walt Disney books that my folks got for me back when I was a wee tot. And um, yeah, so Disney's wonderful world of reading. And we're just. Re- a bit too sick, thing. Uh, maybe so. And, um, and this is uh, Three Little Pigs we have here. So, th- so this should be pretty interesting. And up top of uh, the title, you got the big bad wolf, looking very, um, I don't know, man. He just looks like he's planning some heinousness for these uh, three little pigs, three little fat pigs. Okay, open the book, and uh, yeah, there's one pig working. One pig also uh, grabbing some hay, and another pig uh, moving some bricks. So yeah. And here's uh, Big Bad Wolf with uh, a cookbook. It seems like I marked out one of the pig's eyes with some ink pen. I don't know why I did that. That's kind of odd. I guess I used to like to do that. I don't know. It's weird. Once again, this is a Random House and uh, Three Little Pigs retold by Barbara Brenner. Hmm. I don't know who she is, but we need to Google her just to find out. Let's see. This is a copyright 1972. But this book was actually in my possession later than that. Anyways, um, there's, let's get this going. This story is a story of three little pigs and one. Don't be confused with Brian Steiner's more than three little pigs. <laughs> <laughs> three little pigs and one big bad wolf. Here are the pigs uh, walking about, or they're actually frolicking. One's playing a um a flute. There's some mushrooms right here, and there's a big bad wolf lurking behind a tree. I figured it out. It's you, me, and Steiner, and the big bad wolf of Mr. Bryant. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. The three little pigs lived in a house at the bottom of the hill. They lived with their mother. Oh, there's their pig mother right there. Okay, cool. Oink, oink. I don't know why I never noticed her before, but yeah, they're all play- I don't know why I had to... That's a, that's a band name, pig mother. Pig mother, yeah, I know, right? You just have to get the ink pen out on all these, but anyways... I always thought this was kind of funny because they're playing marbles. They're out there playing marbles in the street. Anyways, the big bad wolf lived in a house at the top of the hill. He lived alone. And yeah, his house looks all just kind of ramshackled. Once again, there's some ink pen. I don't know what my deal was with ink pens, man. I don't know uh, what your deal was with marking up all these books. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, man. It's weird. Vandalism, I guess. And it's just here's the pigs and the wolf. And yeah, up there. So yeah. And he looks like he had some kind of skill saw or something out there. It's funny that he has a skill saw, but his house looks like a, you know, ramshackle shack. Anyways, that's crazy. Anyways. That's it. It's all uh, Pig Mother's hit single, Prelude to Vandalism. Mm. One day, Mother Pig said, boys, it's time for you to go on your own way and to live on in your own houses. Uh, it makes you think of my uncles. Anyways. Yes, it is time, said the first little pig. To go on our own way, said the second little pig, and to live in our own houses, said the third little pig. So, wait, the, wait, wait, wait. That's all book, uh, wait, wrong so the three little pigs packed their bags. They left the house at the bottom of the hill. Goodbye now. Oh, and this is funny too because I remember um, as a kid, yeah, I guess this pig has a bunch of candy. The salty pig right here looks all pissed. He's got a bunch of tools. And the other pig is all kind of just happy or whatever. He's got a like a pig doll. Like you can see, like there's like a a big bad wolf head that's like spring loaded, and then there's some jacks and a marble, and then there's another wind up uh, big bad wolf, which is kind of funny right there if you can see it. That's kind of hilarious. Anyways, that's the collector of family. I know, right? <laughs> Goodbye now, their mother said, and don't forget, watch out for the big bad wolf. He eats little pigs. We won't forget, said the three little pigs. B is for big, said the first little pig. B is for bad, said the second little pig. Wolf is for wolf, said the third little pig. They waved goodbye and went their merry way. I'm really happy about being eaten. Yeah. Soon they, they came to a place where the three roads met. I'll go this way and build the house, said pig number one. I'll go that way and build a house, said pig number two. And I'll stay right here and build my house, said pig number three. 
So each little I guess pig. Pig numbers one through three is better than Brian, Brian, and Matt. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The Brian's uh, pig number three. So each little pig went on his own way. All right. Once again, in the weird cartoon stuff, the the um, the builder pig who looks all salty and pissed. He's got overalls. The other two little pigs, they're not wearing any pants. So interesting. It's not ironic because out of our whole crew, I'm probably the one who wears pants the most. <laughs> hey, I'm always wearing shorts. Anyways, I know, I know. I'm full <laughs> Anyways, all right. The first little pig built his house of straw. One, two, three, snip, snap. His house was done. It was not a very good house. It was not a very strong house. <laughs> yeah, it was all just made out of straw. And there's like I don't know if there's like a honey pot thing or butter churn. <laughs> But who cares, said the little pig. I don't want to work all day. I want to dance and play. And he did. <laughs> but someone was watching from the hill. Someone who liked to eat little pigs. Oh, there's a big bad wolf. This is pretty hilarious. He's in some kind of uh, tree stump. A dead tree stump. You can see his eyeball poking out. And he's got like a, you know, a telescope. And there's a bug landing on a telescope. Um, he's got the famous cartoon white gloves. It's everybody's wearing white gloves, and his um, wolf butt is sticking out of the of the whole tree trunk with his tail. And it's funny because his tail is uh, coming out of a hole that's patched with a patch that's got a hole. So once again, we've got mushrooms and a bee. Anyways, the second little pig built his house of sticks. One, two, three, zip zap. His house was done. It was not a very good house. Or a very strong house. But who cares, said the, that little pig. I don't want to work all day. I want to sing and play. This is what he did. And this house doesn't look that bad. But yeah, it doesn't look like it could like, you know, weather a storm or anything like that. Um, all right. But someone was watching from the hill. Someone who liked to eat little pigs. And yeah, here's the big bad wolf in like a ghillie suit or just in a shrub. And it's kind of funny because he's got the binoculars out. Um, here's his big bad yellow eyes and there's a branch sticking out of the bush and there's a, like a bluebird, blue jay, bluebird, some kind of bluebird with a purple top hat, which is kind of funny. Anyways, the third little pig built his house of bricks. Now this little pig worked hard. He made a floor of wood. He made a door and he just always looks pissed. Well, he's not pissed here. He's kind of just excited i guess just nailing and uh i feel like that's the pig i am because of how animal i am the two by fours yeah <laughs> and then he's put up the door and he looks all frustrated he just looks all he just looks salty all the time just salty anyways he built his house brick by brick and made and he made a chimney on the roof when it was done it was a good house and a strong house now i have time to rest in place said the third little pig and so he did so there he is, like, playing on a horn, playing some music. Uh, but someone was watching from the hill. Someone who liked to eat little pigs. Well, if he's from a hill, why is he underwater? It's funny, this whole page right here. Uh, I used to like this when I was a little kid. This is an interesting uh, page to me. Uh, you got the big bad wolf underwater with a periscope. He's got a straw sticking out of his uh, mouth that's also um, tied to the periscope. Sticking out so he can breathe. You have one uh, green crab with eyeballs. Um pinching his toe and then you've got one purple fish pointing at uh the big bad wolf and laughing at him while he's underwater i always thought that was pretty funny it's all loser. <laughs> i always thought that was pretty funny they're just laughing at him he's ridiculous but he's gonna get him some pork hopefully anyways next day so there are no hot wheels over there old man. <laughs> next day someone came down the hill the big bad wolf he went to the house of straw he banged on the door little pig little pig let me come in, he called. And here he is knocking on the door. And here he is. The little pig looks outside. And he's just uh, waving his fist in fury to uh, be let in. The first little pig looked out the window. He saw the big bad wolf. No, no. Or no. No, by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I, will, I won't let you in, said the little pig. Not the, by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Exactly. Then I'll huff. And I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. He huffed, he puffed, and he blew that house 
of straw right down. Yeah, he's scared now, man. He just blew the hell out of that, that, little, yeah. that little straw house. The little pig got out just in time. He ran to his brother's house of sticks. Help, help, he cried. The big bad wolf is coming. The second little pig quickly let him in and locked the door. Now the big bad wolf put on sheepskin. He went to the house of sticks. He banged on the door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, he said in a sweet voice. <laughs> Who are you? asked the second little pig. I'm a sheep, said the wolf sweetly. The two little pigs looked out the window. They could see the wolf's eyes under the sheepskin. That's pretty funny. <laughs> sheepskin. So the second little pig said, no, no. By the hair of my chinny chin chin, I won't let you in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. He huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. Yeah, and he blew that house down. Look, they're all trying to hold the door. Everything's just just rustling about in a fury. Uh, and he blew that house of sticks straight down. So yeah, there you go. Man, and he's blown away. The two little pigs got out just in time. They ran to their brother's house of bricks. Help, help, the big bad wolf is coming. The third little pig quickly let them in and locked the door. The wolf came, he began to bang on the door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, the wolf called. No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I won't let you in, said the third little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. That's a thirsty, thirsty-ass wolf. Anyways, the two little pigs were afraid. But the third little pig said, Don't be afraid. The wolf can't blow this house in. This is a very strong house. And yeah, you can see they're all kind of freaked out, hiding under the sheet, under the bed. And he's just explaining with glee that they can't, you know, that he can't bust it in. And I guess it's a picture of the pig mother in a blue like robe or something or blue dress watching the tv that's kind of hilarious uh it's like there's mom watching the tv you've got a picture of her up anyways uh, anyway yeah. he said to the wolf go ahead blow blow your head off we're not afraid of the big bad wolf and so here he is uh his chest all you know all big and puffy he's about to blow blow <laughs> try to blow that house in once again there's more little creatures or something uh, in this dirt pile with his eyes looking up and there's a little uh, snail right there by that little tree. The wolf began. Uh, that was As a little kid, this was always funny to me because uh, his face is all red right here as he's blown in because you can just tell he's just straining his face just trying to blow, blow the hell out of it. He huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. Then he puffed and he huffed. Puff. Huff, huff, puff. <laughs> um, That's five times, but... I know. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to do it. Anyways, there's a, and here's uh, <laughs> caught in that whirlwind of huffery puffery. There's a little purple bird with like a bowler hat or something or whatever. I don't know. But yeah. Bird, universe hats. <laughs> yeah, everybody has hats. And I don't know. It's funny. <laughs> his face got <laughs> red. <laughs> his ears got blue. And his ears are blue, if you look. That's funny. Uh, his eyes began to water. His eyes are watering, if you look closely. That's pretty funny. And, but still, he could not blow down that house of bricks. Now the wolf was mad. He had to get those pigs. I know what I'll do, he said. Yeah, I think, you know, when I was a little kid, like four and five years old, I used to, you know, kind of just like uh, clench my fist and wave it if I was pissed off and... I think this is probably where I got that from. It's kind of funny. I know what I'll do. He said, I'll I'll go upside of this house brick by brick. So he's climbing up the house Spider-Man style. Then I'll slide down through the chimney. Three little pigs heard him on the roof. He's on the roof, said pig number one. He'll come down the chimney, said pig number two. Pig number three said, quick, get a pot of water. They got a hot pot of water. Uh, once again, there's they love their mom, dude. Who doesn't love their mom? But yeah, here's the pig mother again in the picture where she's got her arms folded and she just got her eyes closed, smiling. So yeah, that's cute. Anyways, um, it it was very hot. They put it they put it under the chimney. The wolf came down the chimney. 
<laughs> Let's see, here we go. Oh, he lands in the cauldron. Anyways, plop, he fell right into the pot of hot water. Help, help, cried the wolf. I'm in hot water. <laughs> he jumped up. He ran out of the house. He ran and ran and did not stop until he got to his house. And he never came I down. I wish to be a part of the cauldron born. And he, came, he never came down the hill again. And you can see where his uh, tail was like kind of charred. It actually looks like it's still burning. It's kind of orangish. And there's little pigs looking out. And yeah, that's funny, man. But we're not done yet. Okay, and here's the um, the wolf sitting in a pot, uh, bucket of water, cooling down. You can see the steam coming up from his butt. And he's reading a book that says How to Cook Chicken. So that's smart. It's, <laughs> Smart move. Smart move, man. The wolf still lives in his house at the top of the hill alone. He is he is still big, but he isn't so bad. He never eats little pigs anymore. That's true, man. He just doesn't. That's that he eats little chickens. Now the three little pigs live together in the house of bricks. They play and sing and are merry all day long. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The big bad wolf. The big bad wolf. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Tra la 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 la. So yeah, there you have it. That's uh. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, man. That was the three little pigs. That's, that's something else, man. That big bad wolf, man. Oh, anyways. Look <laughs> forward to that figure. To say the very least. That'd be cool. I would like to see Super Seven do the um yeah the big bad wolf with the sheep. Wool to put on him or whatever. That'd be pretty fun. I think he comes with that, doesn't he? He does? With that, that one that's coming out? I don't know. I think so. He comes with well, the granny dress, and I think he comes with the sheep wool, too. Well, if the Super 7 is doing the, the Big Bad Wolf, they got to do the three little pigs, or at least one of the, one of the pigs. they got to do the street pack, the three little pigs. Yeah, it would make sense, man. Because if you got a little uh, Pinocchio and whatever like that, with Mickey Mouse, you got to have some pigs. It would only make sense. Oink, oink. Yeah. Anyways, this has been T-Biz, and... Overlord Productions, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, or I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. He will do it, and I'll leave a link in the description so you can go subscribe to his channel and watch some awesome toy reviews. I will, I swear, I inherited my old man's big mouth. <laughs> yeah, he'll be able to do it, trust me. Uh, he's, he's not lying. Anyways, thanks for watching, y'all, and have a good one. Laters. Laters.